me know what you're doing with them. Hey, what's up, guys? This is MPFSU, back with part three of the Air Raid Offense Series. And uh, right now we're going against a user uh, who's Whatcha. And uh, in this video, just going to show you my progression and the reads and how to set this offense up properly. Right now we're starting off with the Y corner. As I explained in the other videos, you're supposed to read uh, X, who's the Y receiver, or Circle, who's the Z receiver. And let's see... Uh, how this play goes here. Green eye, green eye. Green eye. All right, let's pause it right here. As it, I had two safeties high, so this was my mistake. I probably should have read that circle play uh, going underneath, but I saw some open green area for the wide corner, and I went ahead and thrown it. Um, so uh, let's see how this ends up. And I got a nice catch there, but you don't even want to throw that circle. That was a mistake I made, so let's move on. Now, here is the smash concept. Um, once you get someone to play cover two, this is something you want to throw at them. Just like I said, throwing wrinkles, shoot, use it like a play-action pass play. Um, this is how you get your big offense. As you see, we're looking to read uh, the halfback running towards that free safety and that corner route, which is triangle. So we're trying to choose him, make him choose in between those routes. Uh, whichever route he chooses, we go the other way. So uh, let's go ahead and see how this play goes through. Uh. As you see, he chose the corner, we went right to the halfback, and we get us a good football to team has to consistently uh, nice play there. Now, this is the uh, air raid under. Uh, as we're looking here, we see... Uh, the, the middle of the field is closed, so we're looking to get to the outside, and we're going to read that uh, spot route underneath the uh, out route. And we're, and pretty much in this in this situation, in the most plays in the air raid, you're trying to work these linebackers in these corners that are close to the line of scrimmage to get them to open up and give you some more area. So let's go ahead and see how these reads progress and what happens here. It's a quarterback, and he can really get into safe with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all, all week. All right, let's pause it right there. And as you can see, the uh, linebacker or corner is taking that out route. So we're going to go ahead and hit the spot route. As you see, Watcha here is playing uh, man free or robber, whichever you want to call it, uh, as the free safety. So he definitely has to make a hell of a play on this ball to get the pick because that guy is underneath him and has position. Uh, so he has to come down and try to make a play, but it's going to be definitely difficult and almost impossible. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how this finishes up. To this oh, see there we got a nice catch really and a few nice. extra yards after that. <laughs> now moving on, this is another smash play. Um, this time instead of the halfback, we have the wide receiver running up the field. But as you notice in this uh, particular alignment, that the wide receiver is not lined directly toward in the free safety. The strong safety is kind of sitting between him and the smash corner route. So it's going to be a difficult throw, but middle of the field is open, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we can read the, the original routes and then go backside if they're covered. All right, let's go ahead and pause it right here. Now you see, as I, I was thinking, that safety actually got over top, and then that X route is covered, so the corner route is also covered. Circle is pretty much open. Um, but I know since middle of the field open and I got, don't see any kind of pressure, I have a bigger play going towards uh, Square, who's the X receiver, running the dig backside. And that safety's uh, depth is too deep to make a play, so I go ahead and throw this ball. Now, this is my favorite, um, the shallow cross. Um, this time it's Y shallow cross. And what we're reading there, we're working these linebackers again. We're going to read X shallow over the middle. If they come down to cover that shallow, we pretty much go towards the dig. As you see, middle of the field is open again. So um, it should be some space in there open in, uh, over the middle of the field. So we're just reading the linebackers here uh, in their coverage. And hopefully they pull up and get a bigger pass play going here on third down. Let's see how this develops. All right, let's pause it right here. As you can see, the linebacker chooses to come down to cover X. So as soon as I see him come down there, I know I can hit a triangle behind him, 
which is H. Um, the H wide receiver uh, runs that dig there. If he was running the shallow, it would be the X wide receiver. So um, let's go ahead and see how this play finishes up and see if we can get a nice game from my reads here. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown on that play. Nice play there and keeps us moving. Now, here is the under. Um, this is what I kind of like to go to once I've kind of established that I can throw the ball a bit and the team decides they want to start bringing kinds of pressure and blitzing uh, to kind of, uh, you know, get the timing off. But um, just like the other wide corner, I'm reading the corner. And instead of the slant this time, he's running an under. So it gives us some time to develop and I can hit him right as he cuts. So it makes it for an easy, quick passing play versus the blitz. And let's see what happens here. Let's pause it right here. As you see, we have a blitz coming. Uh, and that, that uh, defensive back, or I think it's a linebacker, decides he's going to go and hot, get underneath that corner as he's giving up that area of that the dig route is or the end route is running into uh, on the underside. So um, it's as we see out of the clear throwing lane, it was a blitz coming. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy read in this case. And I just go ahead and throw it to Circle, who is uh, Z in this case, but he's Circle. And yep, a nice game, first down, a couple more yards. He's taken down at the 39. Um, and this is, a, this is verticals. Um, not Couldn't get this a lot in, during this game. Uh, what you play pretty good defense at safeties and the safeties are pretty good but in this case here uh, they're pressed up middle field is closed so we're trying to get up the field vertically uh, not looking over the middle but I do see that one of the uh, defensive backs isn't quite covering the X receiver so I'm, I'm thinking that might be my hot read uh, which is orange so it's my read anyway so we'll go ahead and see what happens here Get a nice pass in between them and, and the safety. Immediately. And that's good for a nice play there. All right, now this is the smash once again. Now in this situation, as you can see, XY receiver is actually uh, in the position alignment he's in now. He's in the middle of the field, and so is the safety. So now he can pull that. Uh, but, you know, some indication gives me that middle of the field is closed here because how they're aligned up, and he's not quite lined over that corner route. So um, let's go ahead and see how this is uh this goes through and how this works out here for us um it's maybe a big play we'll see all right let's pause it right there as i see here this is uh to point out this is one reason i don't key guys um against this offense you can't really key any guy because it's not going to any specific guy i'm just reading the coverage and then i throw to whoever's the open guy now as you see here x wide receiver is covered over the middle um, this is a cover one, clearly, and uh, my R1 receiver is coming open on the corner route. That's who I should go through. That's my read, and I just try to throw it to open grass because there's a lot of open area up there towards the corner of the end zone, and I just throw it out there and see if he can get he it. He passes it, and he does, and Keeps it's a nice play. Get to that down. Keep down. Yeah. Um, Take one guess. Keep things moving. <laughs> I guess who I told them to keep. Now, in this situation, this is the under. I kind of like throwing, running this in the red zone as well because that that corner will kind of break his uh, route off into an out. And um, that's why there's no such thing as a perfect defense against the air raid because you're, you're looking at working linebackers or working safeties uh, if you're stretching the field vertically. Horizontally, you think about working linebackers. And the playmakers are going to be open depending on how the defense plays them. So let's just see how this goes. All right, now let's pause it right here. Now this is the last read of the game, the last play of the game that I'm going to have posted here. Well, not the last play, the last play that I'm posting. But uh, as you can see, uh, clearly that linebacker decides he wants to go with the corner route. So we we have circle wide open, and that's the difference. If he goes with the circle route, I'm going to try to throw towards the pylon uh, to hit that uh, wide corner, which is a more difficult throw. This actually is the easier throw that he's given us, and so we're going to go ahead and take that. And it looks like here we're going to score a touchdown. Finds now, it's no such thing as a perfect touchdown. defense uh, against the air raid offense because you're not. You're, look, you're looking what works against the drop combinations work well against all kinds of defenses. You're just reading which way the defense defender goes and you throw the, the way he does not go, which is normally I was in the right defense. 
I was in the right defense, but you got to play. Well, that's it from us guys. Uh, this is the end of the uh, air raid offense. As you can see, it works very well against users. Um, you know, you can call certain defenses, but it's definitely a hard. Once you get the reads down, it's a hard defense to stop. Uh, mainly because of the route combinations and how you can attack certain defenses. As long as you know which uh, plays attacks uh, the defenses the best, you can use those. You want to keep the bigger plays sprinkled in. You don't want to come out and constantly use verticals, constantly use uh, a smash. You know, you want to try to work the linebackers first and then get them to open up a little bit and maybe bring in some corners and then you'll be able to stretch the field vertically and with some deep passes uh, but that is it if you guys definitely like this content uh, please subscribe to my channel I'll be posting more uh, I think next I'm going to look at the multiple offense again uh, for 2014 and I uh, appreciate you guys watching like subscribe uh, share this video and I'll talk to you guys later peace